Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan, from High Media TV. And today we have a deck profile for the Winston Cup. The Winston Cup being HI Media TV's proprietary tournament format, which at, further restricts the uh, ban list, but not in a cringe Yugi Boomer way, as well as limiting the number of URs and SRs in the main and extra deck to make building decks for the format more economical. Money's tight right now. And in that notion, we are looking at adding Nister. We, this is the deck list I have built, and it is quite fun, given that the Winston Cup standard format tends to extend into turn 5, 6, 7, 8. Having option, the, it, given the power level of the decks is lower, on average, this is what we have. Let's get into it, shall we? Before we get into the non engine, let's look at the engine. We have three copies of Blue, Blue Baby Ignister, one copy of, of, of a Earth Baby Ignister, one of Fire Baby Ignister, three of Wind Baby Ignister, and three of, yeah, of Light Baby Ignister, as well as three of Dark. Uh, we also are playing Water Leviathan at Ignister, the, the water one. Granted, obviously this is like Evan... That's so clunky. Remember, we don't have a, a lot of consistency tools here, and this is a slower format. We, are, we did make a handful of compromises. Getting out a, a powerful monster is, is, is pretty important. Next up, we have, uh, as far as the AI Love Fusion, so we can go into Earth Golem Adding Mister. I think it's fun. Uh, and a Cyanet Fusion just for funsies. I think... It is, I think, good to have it as an option, especially since you can go, you can, is using a Duplexer uh, Chimera will allow you to basically do more things, especially since uh, AI Love Fusion, uh, when using a Link Monster, um, not Link Monster, when using uh, an Agnister Monster as Fusion Material, you can also use a Link Monster. AI Meet You, this is your starter a lot of the time. Using uh, Picari to get to it is usually preferable and then using it to get into the uh doshin or the hiari because you can especially some of those from hand will allow you to make climb ignister at ai land uh i'm going to be perfectly honest you could very well uh cut two of these down and th and replace them with lady debugs i wouldn't blame you given that we are playing the Link one that searches a field spell, and it does find AI land, which, yeah, more power to you. As far as non-engine, as well as AI, it'll be reborn is helpful as well. It allows you to sort of get your resources back and go into things in that nature. As far as non-engine in the main deck, we have Battle Fader, because we, we, you will be, your first turn is, is going to be, you know, one Bingus, and that's about it. And it's good to be able to cover your ass. We also have a special hurricane. This is worse, um, lightning storm, but very useful going second. Obviously, we have cyanide mining. Oh, give because the tools are great. AI contact. Uh, this is your. This is very much a uh, the benefit of playing multiple Ignister AI land, but I don't. You don't have to do it. Plus, it's also fun if you are able to get a hold of Picari, normal summon Picari, uh, add AI contact to hand, links off into the link one, dark infant at Ignister, activate AI land, get a draw three. Can be very useful. And it's in for a deck that it's hunger, it's for draw spells, can be can, is a good thing to have. Enemy controller. Solid to have. Obviously, tributing can, depending on what you're tributing, can be a little risky, but it is um, a decent option, especially when you're trying to boink for game. Into the extra. Obviously, you have Deplexer Chimera and Earth Golem Added Mister. I figure that having extra options as far as, you know, wanting to get something on field with AI Love Fusion or even Sina Fusion. Sina Fusion's here primarily for the graveyard effect of Deplexer Chimera. That way, you can at the very least do other shenanigans later on down the line. When Pegasus had Ignister, this is uh, generally a good one to have. All important, I would say. Uh, the the uh, big 
Ignisters tend to have pretty decent effects. My favorite, like the as far as battle concerned, uh, the the ritual is very useful. Firewall at Sea Dragon. I just threw this in here as a round out. Uh, you can. You, I would recommend going into Light Dragon at Ignister instead. Uh, this is this is a protection from destruction, um, as well as other as well as interruption and destruction in your opponent's phase. Uh, Secure Guard. Uh, this is good if you're going, dealing up with some burn, as well as if you don't have a battle theater to at least allow you to like shirk some damage. Lingrebo, this is uh, very good for getting an Edmister into the graveyard fast uh, and being so you can summon it back. Generally good for link climbing. Dark Infinite Edmister, this is your link that searches the field spell. This backup effect is kind of meh, but you know if you can get it off, great. Claim Administrator, this is a bit of a win more card, but you know if you're if you're able to make it and get and boost the uh, attack of your other monsters, this can be helpful, especially when trying to get over big bigguses of monsters. Uh, Cyberus Wicked, this is good for being a, this is a, I have this in here mostly just as an option. This is good protection, but it also has the added benefit of adding a, a Baruru to your hand as a secondary effect. Clock Lizard is fine. This basically allows you to recycle some of your uh, fusion Ignister monsters, which I think is very helpful, um, as, as well as being able to, you know, banish it, it like basically resummon it again once it's already been sent. Um, moving on, Encode Talker. This is just, you know, battle manipulation shenanigans. Battle manipulation shenanigans. Uh, Dark Templar Administer. This is going to be how you're going... Like, getting this onto field will allow you, generally, to uh, get... Um, be able to do more things. Uh, once your Dark Templar added Mister's out and you've procced its effect, uh, generally, I found that you are able to at, at, at go into... Uh, the synchro, it's generally, I think, a good one to get. Going into the synchro is a good one to get. Um, but you have, again, multiple options. And lastly, Fire Phoenix at Ignister, uh, Bow Manipulation, and Destruction and Interruption. So, generally pretty fun. Uh, it also is pretty, it also has its own recovery effect, which is nice. So, let's get into some matches, shall we? I want to be very clear that uh, I did this on casual just to increase my chances of, ha of having less frustrating fights. Uh, this was probably one of the two remote, most robust fights we have. So if this is the only video that's here, well, my apologies. But I've got a pretty okay hand. I lead with uh, Archer Attic Mister and immediately get Ash. This shows that uh, the deck, at least for people that do decide in the Winston Cup to uh, use their SRs and URs for hand traps, that it that this deck can have a little bit of chewiness to it. I'd like to go for the link one Attic Mister, getting the AI land, but no, they have an impermanence, which kind of leaves me in a bad place, but I have Battle Fader, so I'm not particularly worried. I link off into a secure Garda just to cover my bases and keep it pushing. Moving on to the end phase, we continue. My opponent draws for turn, stand by main. And reinforces for the army, going for Azubo Machu, go, 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 go. This is the uh, Onomatopoeia cards. Oh, joy! They go for a full Utopic Ray Lancer and attack instead, negating the card's effect and hitting it for a ton. I had to help Meadow. And then my mother-in-law came over. I am very high. Oh, uh, where we go? Yeah, let's go back to my turn. I'm here. I, I draw high top deck into Doshin, which was great. I use worse Lightning Storm and then get the Doyen at Ignister out. At the Achi the hand probably should have done differently, but it's whatever. I use the Doshini to make the Infant. Uh, forgetting the I of Fusion, and then the I land gets on field. Yeah, and then I make an Earth Gold at Ignister, and I did nothing else. That I mentioned I'm bad at this step. Oh, once we go to the next phase, well, let's quickly the tacos are delicious. I get Harpy Feather Duster, which is meh. And then I, he turns his onomatopoeia and this Typhon. I take 100 off 3k damage, which is I. And then I go back to my turn. From here, I win. Or at least I think I do. Uh, Achi, I activate the graveyard effect of AI Reborn. Get Island back. Normal summon Achi. Get the blue boy. 
Lingaribo of the Achi away so I can get the effect of the secondary effect of, of high Haya out so I can make a ritual. I use everything in grave to get the Adagnist ritual out. Put Typhon down to zero, hit him for 2300, go to main phase two, and grave. Pass turn, draws a card, main phase one, and scoops. In the Winston format, this deck can be a little more grindy. I'm gonna go lay down now. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.